When the CERN particle collider goes online this summer, it could shed new light on how the universe was formed. Buried deep beneath the Swiss Alps, the 17-mile-long lab will begin accelerating tiny subatomic particles, electrons and positrons, to near light speed, then smash them into one another. Scientists say the collisions will replicate conditions found just after the Big Bang. By going back that far in time, by recreating, we're kind of, if you like, we're exploring the physics, the way, the way the universe unfolded in those first few instances of time. If you look at what has happened to science in the 20th century, and we've gone from, you know, from the automobile through planes to be able to sort of try and pro, you know, probe the, the, the structure of the universe in this way, it's just inconceivable. And I think just, it's just part of this adventure, just man pushing against the limits. Pushing things too far is what some speculate will happen. They worry the collider may kickstart a series of catastrophic events. We're absolutely sure that this isn't going to happen because we know that there are cosmic rays hitting the Earth, hitting the atmosphere, the Sun, the Moon, Jupiter, all of the time at even higher energies that, than we can create here. The aspect that's different here is that we're doing it in the same place so that we can actually observe what happens. But we know that we can't do something here that hasn't been going on for millions of years already at even higher energies. While it's considered unlikely that a catastrophic explosion could come from operating the accelerator, it is certain to produce an explosion of data. Half the world's researchers specializing in particle physics work at CERN, and it's their hope that they'll be able to study particles and forces as never before. John Belmont, The Associated Press.